Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of PTD5. Uh, let's continue with the update. Uh, two new tracks have been added to the game and therefore I will cover right now the intermediate track, uh, Village Shore, in Mastery Mode. So I will show you my updated Mastery Mode gameplay. Uh, I will be using all the lab upgrades and I will be using the Duck Monkey special building uh, with all four levels. And yeah, that's it. So. Uh, let's start with this mastery mode gameplay in this intermediate track. Uh, this track is not that hard, so um, let's go in poppable. So yeah, it shouldn't be that hard to complete, um, mainly because of the fact that balloons are gonna be go around here this circle twice. So uh, that's a lot of time to pop them. So I'll just get right here an engineer. As always, the engineer is the best one to start, but I got as well one that monkey that is free. Uh, and therefore I will place it right here. It's strong actually. And yeah, that's, that is gonna be my start for this master mode track. I'll get now the one zero upgrade for the engineer, of course. The sentry guns are gonna be very, very useful. They're gonna spawn around the range of the engineer and uh, their range actually is pretty big. So they should be covering a lot of the of the truck itself. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, should be able to survive perfectly with this setup. So, um, yeah, I'm just focus here on getting uh, enough cash to get the farms very important in master mode farming up the earlier you can get the farms the better it is and as well I will show you a trick uh, for the farms that you can use when you're uh, when you have um, sell price level 4 unlocked so Um, yeah, let's go with the farms right there. So that's one farm. Uh, I'll get the farmer as well. I don't want to collect all these bananas by myself, so... I'll just place it right here, should be enough. Alright, I got another free that monkey. And I will play it right here all right three three towers so and again i place it in strong so just waiting here to have more cash to get more farms into the game So the trick of the farms works pretty much in this way. You place a farm and uh, you get uh, how much cash that the farm is gonna give you and then you'll see if you can sell that farm to get the other one uh, to zero, then do it. And that's the trick pretty much. Because one farm to zero is gonna give you seven bunches of bananas instead one Two farms, one zero, uh, is gonna are gonna give you uh, six bunches of bananas between them both. So it's always more convenient to have one farm to zero than two farms one zero. And uh, yeah, and that's why the trick works, especially when you have sell price. That means that you lose almost no cash by placing a farm and then selling it. So that's it. Uh, let's see if I can place one more farm before round 22 here. Remember, in Master Mode, the rounds are different. So, uh, the first leads come out in round 22 and not in round 28, like in normal mode. So, you're gonna need countermeasures for that. I got now the Dark Monkeys that can uh, pop the leads because of the special building. 
and I've placed them all in strong. That means that they're gonna focus primarily their um, the leads, the lead layers. And here I couldn't place a farm, but I think I will not be able to because I need at least here one that monkey. Oh yeah, I can anyway. Okay, whatever. All right. Let's see, that's another farm in the round. The only thing I'm messing up in this gameplay is uh, that I'm not getting all the farms that I could be getting before that ends. So that's my bad. It's always some extra cash in the bag. Yeah, my bad for not doing it. Okay, so selling to zero. And let's place the last farm right here. In the round. One and I'll, I'll wait the second bunch because that second bunch is gonna allow me to place another farm. So two more bunches next round. Very important. Here we go. And now I can just sell this and get this one to zero. Here we go. And now I'll just start upgrading some of these dark monkeys to three. Well, for now, just this one right here. I wanna get as fast as I can as well, at least one farm three zero. But yeah, the camos, the other camos are gonna come out in next round, round 33. So yeah, I don't think I will be able to get a farm 3-0 now. No. Yeah, I'll need at least another that monkey here for this round. That's it, but that's one farm 3-0, so I'm happy about that. And even if it doesn't seem so, dark monkeys do a ton of damage. So don't ever underestimate the damage that a dark monkey can do. And I got another freedom monkey, so just place it there. The ceramics. Another farm three zero. And actually, right now, I'm gonna start placing these Dark Monkeys in first. I will leave these two in strong, but uh, the other ones are gonna be in first, so that I can follow the blooms better. All right. At the end of this round, there are camo leads, but because I got uh, some Dark Monkeys 2-3 with the special building, uh, those camo leads are not a problem. And that's uh, Factory right here, round 38. So that's very, very nice and early. And now comes the second step of this gameplay that is trying to start placing towers and surviving the mobs. So the first mobs are gonna come around 40 in this mode. Um, so I don't know why I can't place this. Okay, here we go. Closer. So, um, of course the best way to counter the mobs is with Brune Chippers. So I'll start placing blue shippers. Let's see how much cash do I get at the end of this round and let's see how much more will I need to be able to suck the mob layers. Um, so 4.8 means 1.2k cash. Uh, I think I can get it. I just uh, starting the round here. Okay, 
Oh, but I got ceramics inside. Oh yeah, that's that's a problem though. All right, can I pop all these ceramics though? Uh, okay, just one balloon passed, I think. So that was pretty a pretty close call, I must say. But yeah, at the end it worked out. So I'm happy with that. All right, and now I start placing some heavy weight towers. They're gonna start doing a ton more of damage to the balloons, like ninjas, uh, bombs, and so on. I got one more burn ship right here. As well. Uh come on. Okay. Uh, let's get one more of uh, that monkey though. Two three. Okay, that's a ninja. For two. And those are more mobs here on 43, but as you can see, I'm just destroying them because of all the duck monkeys and the two blunt shippers there. The important thing though is that I have already a factory, so that means that I'm getting a ton of cash in these rounds. So for round 46, I will be able to get two blunt shippers. And as well, I'll start building here a bomb. And I'll start building as well a very nice glue gunner. Very important when you're doing these mastery mode videos, mastery mode gameplay, sorry, is uh, being able to counter the amount of ceramics. Uh, remember, the main problem are not the mobs, because you got Brun Shippers for that, but the problem is the amount of ceramics that come out of the mobs, because like 15, 18 mobs are gonna start coming out, and uh, you're gonna be able to pop the layers pretty easily with two or three Brun Shippers, but then the problem is the amount of ceramics are gonna start coming out of those mobs. So that's why towers like a Glue Gunner 3-2, uh, and then later on, you know, the aces and so on are towers that valuable because you can literally uh, obliterate the ceramics so that they can't stack and if the ceramics can stack then you win so i'll just start spamming here some Three, some two zero farms again. Uh, I'll get the the bomb for two as well, and I got a freedom monkey that I will place right here. I think. Why not? It's very very cheap, and it offers uh, great damage. And after that, I think I'm pretty safe to start getting here. some more factories so let's go with that two balloon shippers are enough for now because i got the bomb for two and the glue gunner three two i can manage to uh, pop all the ceramics so i don't have the problem of that that's another factory let's start building another one Uh, one, though, one thing though is I'll place one more Brun Shipper. Uh, probably just, I'm so gonna sell this, that monkey, and I will place a Brun Shipper right here. Here we go. So just one more, just in case, for this round. Round 54, pretty a nasty round, a lot of mobs. 
So I don't want to risk anything and therefore I'll just get one more Bloom Chipper in the game. I just want to see if I can place an Ace here. Yeah, I can. But I can get also an Ace right here. Let's see. Uh, Oops. Okay. Yeah, right now I'll just get uh, the village 2-3. Uh, and yeah, and the next, the next uh, factory is my goal. And afterwards, just building like one or two aces, um, and then, and then just, just going on with the with the gameplay with the round, and I'll see what I'm gonna build. Now, probably here the best to build though is like a temple. It may be the easiest and fastest way to deal with the harder rounds later on. So for now, let's go with an ace. I'm just trying to place one more Brun Chipper there. There is the room, okay. It was pretty hard though. So four Brun Chippers total. Um, I'm just thinking how to place this temple right here. The best option though would be just placing it like right here so that it has like perfect piercing going. So I will already place it. So that is gonna be the temple. I'll just upgrade it 3-0. And I'll just start placing the sacrifices around it, as always. The Glugander is outside the range though. towers uh, I got I think the bomb is in range so I just need one bomb and then I need uh, the both the glue gunners and then uh, the apprentices and that's it So that's all the sacrifices. So this bomb here, two, three. Just getting here the ice towers. Parentheses. And both the blue gunners. And that's it. So uh, I can sell now this glue gunner, this ninja. Then other towers that are in range are 
that I don't want to get sacrificed are this farm. And that's it. Ah, and two bridge shippers as well. So let's see, once I get enough cash, this farm sells for 26k, so the tempo is going to be 108,000. So 80,000, probably less because I can sell also all these bridge shippers. So when I'm going to be around uh, six, 60k cash, probably 70, 70k cash, I may sell everything. To get the the temple, the ace outside uh, is well outside the range, so that's not a problem. Yeah, I'm just wait the end of round seventy. Well, actually, can get it right now. So, yeah, I'm gonna just wait the end of this round. So that in that way the last rounds are gonna be with less lag and they're gonna be faster because the temple deals a lot of damage without doing causing that much lag. So let's sell all of this. All of this. Every little cash is welcomed here. The factory. And that's it. I got everything else in range. So I'll get this temple. Here we go very strong temple and I'll just get right here a village two three temple in last four two having very good piercing with the beam I'll just get also another ace right here why not so that they help popping these balloons and yeah, I'm gonna go fast until the end. And right now, I'll need only some snipers, 4-2, 4-1, and 4-0, uh, to be able to hold longer the Zomegas at the beginning, and therefore being sure that I can do the highest amount of damage possible to this uh, with the beam in that position right there, with very good piercing. So I'll get two snipers inside the range of this village and then I'll get two snipers outside 4-0 and 4-1 Different attack speeds and therefore they can proc cripple mob uh, different times and therefore at the end of the day you get a better effect And I got also the three factories that I can still sell to gain something to get cash back so I need uh, one more sniper for zero for one and then uh, the village to four and that's it so I think it should be enough cash if I get if I sell the factories right now. A bit of lag here, but because of the mob rushes, not because of the temple. Okay, for one, for zero, that's it. And that's the village to four. And that's my strategy. Uh, I, I will use the Village activity ability probably in round 84 most likely that is the hardest round in the game in mastery mode and that's it so I hope you enjoyed and see ya bye bye